A former Chicago police officer, Dimitri Roberts, is in Washington with more. Uh, Dimitri, police say that they have reviewed the body camera footage worn by the officer involved. As a former police officer, based on what we know so far, um, do you think that this video needs to be released right away? I, I know the, the police chief, I believe, said, look, trust me, he had a gun on him. But in this sort of environment, do you think we just need to get the video out? Absolutely, and I think you're going to see that happen as it did in Chicago. Uh, many police agencies are taking a different approach to the way they're processing these investigations. So I, I'm sure that we're going to see the Milwaukee Police Department follow suit and get that police uh, video, uh, body cam video out as soon as possible. Uh, Dimitri, man, I know we've spoken before about this. Uh, look, this young man had an extensive criminal background and criminal history. Uh, no one is saying uh, that if you've done something in the past that this you deserve to die uh, today. But if it turns out that he did have a weapon on him, even if he didn't point it at a police officer, just given your experience, uh, does it look to you, and we haven't seen this footage yet, that police did the right thing here? Well, I can tell you these are very dynamic and very tough situations to be in. As, a, as an officer who also worked in very tough communities, they have to make split-second decisions, and those decisions have to carry them for the rest of their lives and the rest of their career. I can tell you that young officer didn't get up that day and expect himself to be involved in this. But, again, taking on that job and taking on that tough issue, this is, again, a point where we can get the community involved with the cultural differences that go on both in the community as well as in police agencies and get them more involved in the process. But, Demetria, if, if it turns out that Mr. Smith had a weapon and he pointed it at that police officer as an, a former police officer yourself if somebody did that are you justified in in shooting them if you have to oh absolutely and and it's not just about shooting them it's about eliminating a threat so I want to make sure we're clear on how proper police procedures uh, take place and the way they're supposed to take place in situations like that I'm sure that officer shot to eliminate the threat and it's unfortunate this young man had to lose his life as a result so in this case, the officer is African-American. You know, we've seen these issues come up uh, for the last uh, couple of years, actually, and it's often an issue of a white police officer in a black neighborhood. But here we have a black police officer mm -hmm. shooting. Does that change the conversation at all? Well, I've said this before, and there are cultural differences that are at play here. And this is a real opportunity to get the community involved with the police procedures and let them understand how the police culture uh, addresses these issues in the community, but really how they have to handle themselves every day when they go out to serve and protect. Um, I'll further say that this is an opportunity to rebuild trust in that community. Police power is increased when they partner with the community. And this is a point for both the state as well as that, uh, the police department to bridge that divide between the community that's been broken for far too long. And that's what I wanted to ask you about. You know, a lot of people in this area, this neighborhood of Milwaukee said, listen, this has been a long time coming. Things have been brewing since 2014 when another black man, a mentally ill black man was shot by police. Uh, often when we see these sort of shootings, there's a lot of talk about uh, what, what needs to be done, maybe community policing, then there's some financial investment into something like community policing and then the investment goes away and things go back to what it was before. Do you think this problem can be solved at the local level or do you need to see state and federal uh, funding come into play? Well, this has to be addressed at all levels because it's not just a local level issue. This is a state, a city, a community, as well as a national issue. We don't see these just happening in Milwaukee or Chicago. We see these issues playing out throughout the country. So we have to take one, a unified approach. We have to focus on rebuilding trust, but first we have to heal these communities that have been broken and been devastated by some of the police actions that have taken place, but it has to be a holistic approach. Dimitri, before we let you go, I have to ask you about uh, your point uh, with regards to culture, and Anne Marie uh, made the point that the police officer involved in this uh, reportedly is an African American uh, police officer. Um, when you talk about culture, we talked in the past about police officers who grew up in the community, who know the streets, who know the people living in those communities. But are you saying that there's also police culture and the culture of the community that once you leave those streets, once you become a police officer, you sort of become a part part of a different culture, and you're trying to bridge that gap between the thin blue line and the neighborhood at large. 
Absolutely. I know that story oh too well. I was a young black male who grew up on the south side of Chicago and also got beat up by police. So I understand that. But when I became a police officer, I also understood what it was like to be on the other side and, and operate and police in really tough neighborhoods. So there are many cultural differences that are there. And I'm not saying that biases don't play a factor here, but the cultural differences are the leading one. And I think this is where we have a further opportunity to bridge that divide, to bring our community back together at both the state, the local, and the national levels. And I want to help lead that effort. All right, Dimitri Roberts, thanks so much for talking to us. Thank you.